on the court. He wants to be hot. Or What's up guys? Welcome back to Live Travel Asia. So today we are going to show you three popular pet cafes in Bangkok. Dog in Town Cafe in Tonglor, Pop Cafe in Siam, and the very popular Little Zoo Cafe also in Siam, which is known to have exotic animals as well as dogs. Anyways, anyone who's lived in Thailand will tell you this, but the Thais love their pets and it's no surprise that Bangkok is littered with these pet cafes as the small condos that most of us live in do not support a pet owning lifestyle. This is why it seems there are new pet cafes popping up all the time and as a big animal lover, Mayu is always asking me to visit them. So I've documented our visits over the past year to give you a feel for this very popular pastime, particularly with the younger girls in Bangkok. <laughs> So the first cafe we will show you is Dog in Town Cafe, which is located in the quiet and affluent neighborhood of Ekamai. I chose to show you guys this cafe first because it's the latest cafe we visited sometime back in November, and my camera as well as my shooting technique is the best out of the three. But seriously, this cafe was our favorite out of the three for two reasons. The quality of the food and the drinks, and its overall chill atmosphere. <laughs> as far as pricing, it's all quite reasonable in all the dog cafes here in Bangkok. It's about $3 to get a drink or an entree. And as long as you order one thing, that's all you need to do. And you can stay here as long as you want. And what I can say though is that these dogs seem a lot more socialized than the ones that we saw in Siam. So it's cool because they're chill. So as you can see, the dogs are super chill and don't mind being petted here for the most part. We did have a bit of a ruckus however when the vets came for the annual checkup. It's amazing how these dogs can sense the vets who only come once a year. So it looks like it's time for their annual checkup. <laughs> so, <fluffy. laughs> so if you're looking for a traditional dog cafe with decent snacks, a chill atmosphere, and with a clean, relatively smell-free interior, Dog in Town Cafe would be our recommendation. But if you're looking for something more unique or Ekamai is too out of your way, then stick around for the other two dog cafes in Siam we've also visited. So here's a little cultural uh, lesson of Thailand. These fans here that they give, uh, you'll notice that it's a little flimsy, not really great for fanning. That's because that's not what it's for. In Thailand, you use fans to just cover the sun. This is the correct way to use it. Okay, so Hops is the second pet cafe and the first of the two pet cafes located in the popular part of town in Siam. It's also a dog-only cafe like Dog in Town Cafe previously and they have similar breeds. This is because Thais love Huskies, Corgis, and French Bulldogs. Huskies in particular are very popular with the Thai girls. I think it's possibly because they represent a cold, wintry place that snows, which seems to be every Thai girl's fantasy. I actually feel sort of sad seeing all these huskies in Bangkok, however, because I feel bad for them having to deal with heat here. But then again, the families that can afford to raise such large pets can afford to have the AC blasting in their homes as well, so maybe I'm worrying for no reason. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, compared to the previous cafe, the prices for the mandatory one item were about the same, but the drinks and pastries were lacking here. I felt the drinks were made with little to no expertise, and the pastries were probably purchased elsewhere. Definitely not as good as the freshly made smoothies and fries I had at Dog in Town Cafe. <laughs> not interested. 
Because the cafe is located in the middle of a busy street with windows everywhere, the cafe itself isn't a relaxing setting either. But having said this, if you enjoy seeing dogs playing and being active, this would be the right cafe for you. Oh, he's, he's destroying his new toy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now the last cafe we will cover is the Little Zoo Cafe. We went on a late afternoon on our first visit and decided to come another day after seeing long lines of schoolgirls waiting for their turn to go in. Why are you not happy? I thought you'd be happy coming. I will come to see animals, not to see people. Oh. oh. On our second visit, however, we went in the evening and there were barely any crowds, but unfortunately the animals were mostly exhausted and sleeping from all the afternoon action. If you're going to visit, I recommend you come early on a weekday. Now the reason, however, we visited this location first before the other two pet cafes was because this is the most popular pet cafe in Bangkok. And for good reason too. This particular pet cafe is known to have exotic animals. And I apologize for the last Hacking picture quality as I was still using my iPhone to vlog at this time. The only catch is that they seem to rotate the animals and you have to check their Facebook group which seems to all be in Thai to know when they have which animal. I particularly wanted to see this exotic looking fox but it wasn't there when we went. Although I will say that being able to pet meerkats and seeing guinea pigs and chinchillas was a treat even though I couldn't touch them as I felt bad I would wake them up from their sleep after an exhausting day. Now this location also has cats and an army of chihuahuas which seem to be very well socialized and don't mind being picked up and petted on your lap. They didn't have the large breeds of dogs for obvious reasons however. I could only imagine what the large white husky from the previous Hobbs Cafe would do to all the small meerkats and guinea pigs if he was here. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this vlog was interesting and shown you a little bit more about the local life here in Bangkok and a side of Thailand you may have not known about. Let us know which pet cafe you like the most and please take a moment to subscribe to our channel to support us so that we can grow our channel enough so that I can quit my part-time job and bring you guys even more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. So until next Saturday, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and see you again on Live Travel Asia. <laughs>